Hey, this is Dexter. In this lesson, we will learn how to find the maximum or minimum value of a quadratic function by completing the square. In part 1, write the expression of negative 2x squared minus away 4x minus m minus 6 in the form of a times of the square of x plus b plus c, where a and b are constants and c is an expression in m. In part 2, find the range of values of m such that the curve lies completely below the x-axis. Pause this video to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. The first part of the question requires us to convert an expanded quadratic expression to a completing the square form. We'll begin by making the coefficient of x squared to be positive 1. This can be done by factoring out negative 2 from both the coefficient of x squared and x. From here on, we will now focus on the terms within the brackets. We will now add and subtract the square of half the coefficient of x. Half the coefficient of our x is 1, and we are now plus and minus the square of 1 within the brackets. Let's complete the square by merging the first three terms in the bracket to give us the square of x plus 1. Next, we will multiply negative 2 with negative 1. Lastly, by taking 2 minus 6 to be negative 4, we will have the answer to the first part of the question to be negative 2 times of the square of x plus 1 minus m minus 4. We will now equate this quadratic expression to be y. For any quadratic equation, if the coefficient of x squared is positive, it will be a minimum curve. And if the coefficient of x squared is negative, it will be a maximum curve. Since our coefficient of x squared is negative 2, we have a maximum curve. The coordinates of the turning point of any quadratic curve is negative b comma c from the completing the square form. Thus, the maximum point of our curve has an x-coordinate of negative 1 and a y-coordinate of negative m minus 4. For the quadratic curve to be completely below the x-axis, our maximum, which is negative m minus 4, must be lesser than 0. Because if the maximum is already a negative, then any other points on this quadratic curve will also be negative and thus making the curve to be completely below the x-axis. Solving this linear inequality will give m to be greater than negative 4. And that's the answer to this question. 